What an amazing comeback for the Minnesota Twins today. A great show of adversity and keeping their hot streak going. You see here in the top of the eighth inning, they were down six to nothing. But Jorge Polanco gets them on the board. Max Kepler delivers a single that scores a run. Gary Sanchez got a sack fly for the third run. And then Kyle Garlick punches this home run against a righty out to bring the Twins within one run in the top of the eighth inning. They would load the bases in the top of the eighth, bringing up Luis Arise. And, ooh, tough, tough call to start the at-bat, no doubt. This one is closer, but still off the plate. But Arise fights back, and it starts to feel like, oh, it's going to be one of these classic Arise plate appearances we're going to be talking about for months. Fouling off 100, taking 99 off the plate, fouling off 101, and you just knew he was going to tie it up unless something like that happened. Umpire basically took the bat out of his hands and a pitch off the plate. That did not stop the Twins. Again, they were a run short of their comeback. They finished it off in the top of the ninth inning. They did not let them stop them. Gary Sanchez for the second straight inning delivers a sacrifice fly. This one ties the game, scoring Jorge Polanco. And then Gio Urshela dumps a single in front of the center fielder to score Max Kepler to give the Twins the lead, completing the comeback from down 6 nothing. Yohan Duran finishes it off in the night, bottom of the ninth. Country Heat was in at 102.4 on your FM dials today. And as you see, their biggest comeback since August of 2018 for the Twins. The Twins have now won seven of their last nine, and they will be hosting Detroit for three games starting tomorrow. What a roll they're on. What a special uh, team this is looking like right now. St. Paul got a great start to this game. Thanks to Royce Lewis with a leadoff double here. Uh, Royce had a great game. He started out at shortstop, went three for five, and stole a base. Here we see Alex Kirilov was the next batter who drove in Royce with a nice single out to right field. He played first base today. Uh, Alex has been looking pretty good. Not a lot of power, but looking good otherwise. Curtis Terry here, uh, who's the DH today, but he plays quite a bit of first base for the Saints. The guy who made his major league debut with the Rangers last year, and he hits his fifth home run. And Terry, he hasn't had a ton of power for as big of a dude as he is, but he has a 371 OBP for the Saints this year. Here's the pitching. As you see, Ronnie Henriquez and Drew Stratman both struggled, and that's kind of a consistent theme for those two this year, unfortunately. Moving on down to Wichita, and Danny Coulomb uh, pitched in. Uh, he actually started this game. as a rehab assignment for him, coming back from a bit of a tweaked uh, hip. And you know a nice a nice piece to the Twins bullpen. Not a not a you know key guy to the back end of the bullpen or anything, but you know he had one earned run in twelve innings before this injury for the Twins. So he'll be a nice addition to get back. A two point seven six ERA in forty nine innings over the past three years for Coulomb, and he retired three of the four batters he faced in the first inning of this one. Did walk one, uh, but overall a nice rehab outing for him. And again a welcome addition back to the Twins when the time comes. Austin Martin did commit an error at shortstop. Unfortunately, still not really looking real comfortable there, but he did get a hit and drew a walk. And this extended a hitting streak he had to seven games, a modest hitting streak, but he has a 403 OBP in May. So really starting to play better, Austin Martin, in terms of getting on base and doing a lot of top of the order guy stuff. Here's Matt Cantorino, who came after Coulomb, and he delivered four no hit innings for Wichita, one walk and six strikeouts. So he continues to just keep rolling. And looking really impressive. Sat 96 in this outing pretty much. Looking real great. Here's that Cantorino K sprint. But ah, the style got cramped a little bit there. Because you remember, I got to do the sticky stuff check. I can't go running into the dugout. <laughs> He's a fun guy. A bit of a character. And the, the wind surge won on a walk-off. Deshaun Kurtzie hit a double. And then he was driven in by this Michael Hellman hit that walked it off. So cool to see. And a lot of winning going on this season on the minor league side as well. Uh, the Saints have struggled a bit, but everybody else has been really good this year. I'm uh, moving on to Cedar Rapids and Christian Encarnacion Strand here. It's a three-run home run, his seventh homer of the year. Uh, he's cooled off quite a bit from that insane start, but still has a 320 average with a 928 OPS. Uh, that'll do. Uh, yeah, like another look at that swing. And this was David Festa's debut with Fort Myers. This is a guy I've been really looking forward to seeing this year. And we finally get a look at him. He moved up. Uh, two Cedar Rapids, four and two-thirds innings today. Three hits, one run, no walks, six strikeouts. Topped out at 98 miles per hour. This is a guy who had 33 strikeouts in 24 innings with a 1.50 ERA for Fort Myers before this promotion. 
A six six one eighty five is what he's listed as, and I, I believe it. A lot of those mech, uh, listings aren't accurate, but it's a very long levered, tall, lanky guy. A thirteenth round pick out of Seton Hall, and just a huge pop up prospect for the Twins this year. Brent Hedrick started this game and gave up no runs over four in a third inning, lowering his ERA to one point three six. I want to mention that as well. So uh, those two completed the entire game uh, for Cedar Rapids in a 6-1 to one win, so great for them. Nice to see Festa move up and pitch so well in his first outing. Again, really cool to finally get to be able to share some highlights of him now that he's up with Cedar Rapids. But his teammates, his old teammates down in Fort Myers, they finished off a long game with a victory. That's always nice. Hate to lose these ones. A 13-inning game, they won 7-6. to six. Daniel Azoria had the big hit late. And also was a three-hit game for him. Noah Cardenas also had a three-hit game, including his third home run of the season. And really a big game for the bullpen, for the Mighty Mighty Muscles. Uh, 11 innings without an earned run. They did give up two unearned runs, but no earned runs over 11 innings. Just seven hits given up over that stretch to help them win. Thanks for checking this out. I do take Mondays off, so tomorrow there will not be one of these recaps because uh, there's no minor league action. But we will talk again soon. Thanks for watching.